when I served on the Disability Advisory Committee to the U.S. State Department under Condoleezza Rice, we studied this very thing. We interviewed individuals about war and civil conflict. And it is a fact that when war breaks out, the elderly and people with disabilities are the ones who are left behind. They are forgotten. They are abandoned. And the plight of people with disabilities in Ukraine right now is desperate. We're talking about quadriplegics, paraplegics who live perhaps on the fifth, sixth floor of apartment buildings. When the sirens go off and rocket strikes attack, it's not as though they can jump out of bed and grab a few things, rush down the stairs and run out the door and dash to the border for safety. No, they're caught. They're stuck. Usually their caregivers abandon them or have to leave them for the sake of their own family's rescue. And so they are they are left behind. And even if there are, uh, and, and being sequestered away on the top floors of apartment buildings, they can't get down on the street level to stand in long queues for food and water. Um, hospital supplies are running very low right now, and there's an urgent need for simple things, necessities like catheters, feeding tubes, diapers, and again, caregiving assistance. So the the, the plight right now for those 2.7 million people with disabilities in Ukraine is, is desperate. It's very desperate. I want to ask you, has Johnny and Friends been able to get any aid or support into these persons in Ukraine uh, just based on the current status of things? Well, even now we are uh, rallying supplies such as those I just mentioned, including food and water. Uh, to be brought to the Polish border to hand off to our in-country partners in Ukraine. Plus, I must uh, give credit to uh, Galina, our in-country partner, Ukrainian woman. Her husband is serving uh, on in the front lines of the military, but she has already conducted one rescue, an evacuation of 35 people with disabilities and their caregivers, and they are now uh, uh, safe and in good care facilities in the Netherlands, but she is currently organizing a second evacuation of people with disabilities. But Mark, again, that's uh, scratching the surface of the 2.7 million others who are left behind. So we are asking the church, especially in parts of Eastern Ukraine, where the rocket strikes are significant, we're asking the church not to abandon these people because Jesus Christ himself says in Luke chapter 14, go out and find the disabled. Mm -hmm. Go into the streets and the alleys, the highways and the byways, find them and bring them in. So we have to depend on the church to be the church to those most forgotten, oft abandoned and uh, very much neglected. Mm -hmm.